Hello everybody and welcome back to a very Christmassy modded Gungeon. We are here with the Christmas Breach Renovations, which are just very, very nice. And of course I we have never named... I like the way that he just tries to get me content id straight away. His, his, his Christmas present to me is me getting content ID'd. <laughs> yeah. About the present underneath the Christmas tree. I don't, uh, or I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, <laughs> so you're safe. I just want you for my own something, something more than you, you could ever, ever know. know. Make my dreams come true. All I want for Christmas is you. So sweet. Thank you. Uh, see, this is so wholesome. Oh, we're on theater mode. We did a Shit. Duo. <laughs> ah, do it for one run, you'll die. Why not, yeah. Uh, we started with trick shot. Adds five bounces and a bit of projectile speed to the player's shots. Ooh, that's incredible for theater mode. Especially with the laser rifle. This actually might not be too bad. Oh, hello. Yeah, this, well, this NPC is also way too common. I was gonna say, it's not, it's, it's not like seeing you here. Oh, wait, it is. You show up literally all the time. Yeah, trick shot's yeah, gonna be kind of insane for the end. She's an She really is. I'm not wa warmed up. I need to get warmed up into the conversation for <laughs> Yeah, to what? be fair, we did you basically know? just start the call and start uh, recording straight away. I do yeah. have to say, I would like to see... Um, would like to see something that makes it... Uh, this is only to stop me being an absolute moron. But I would like to see something that makes it so that you, um... Uh, like, if you have rainbow mode on, then you, um, close the game. It just turns it off, and you have to re-enable it. Because, god damn, do I accidentally leave things like that on way too often. Yeah, but you're just a maroon. A maroon? Yeah, you're a maroon. I'm marooned? Where am I marooned? Or do you mean, like, maroon 5? I mean, you're a fucking idiot. Fair. No, but Fair. I, no, but in a friendly way, though. In a friendly way. I want to smack you in the head each time you do a stupid thing. In a friendly way. As that's, a friend. That's actually not worth taking, right? Uh, it's damage up for uh, ammo, ammo down. down. Cause in, I, I don't yeah. need damage, so it's not worth taking. Uh, it, it, it helps me kill bosses. Self. It helps me kill bosses, I suppose. And it's worth selling. That's also true, yeah. It's also true. Is, is Fat Bullets... What tier is it? A? Uh, yeah, I was thinking A. It was either, I was thinking either A or B. That was the worst you miss are... of my life. Oh my god, I missed it again. Dude. Fucking hell. It's, that was it's awful. An angle. You, it's an angle. It's the, the inverse of the angle that it goes in. I know. How, I'm just how, dumb. Like, look, look, use your eyes. I can't have do you that. Considered, have you ever considered looking at the video game you're playing? No, I have never considered oh, that. I, ah. I beat him up a lot. Hot sauce just sets me on fire, what the fuck? <laughs> Burns the user, grants berries. Oh, actually, that's kind of interesting. Okay, I probably won't use it on this run, unfortunately, because it's probably quite dangerous. But that's a really ah, cool yes. idea for an item. Death potion. I gotta say, like, if I could take damage, that would actually probably be something I'd be willing to take. But I can't. Punk. Fuck is this? It's, um, this helmet oh, it's, is beautiful. Uh, um, it displays light. Oh, it's a motorcycle helmet. And it's the Daft Punk helmet. Unfortunately, it only has a single left headphone. And a lot of song songs coming out. What so it, what does this it do, look then? Like it. It look it looks like it, it gave uh, me a fuckload of knockback. It looks like a spaghetti bolognese. Oh lord! Go Why on not? then. Why not? <laughs> I can't wait until like Alexa or Hutz finds that. That's gonna be fun. Hutz has already found it, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, but I mean on video because I don't really watch streams very often. I should, I should watch Twitch more. I just don't watch Twitch very much. Yeah, you don't watch Twitch. You're a baby with an adult life. <laughs> I like that. All reliable. 
Yeah, I, I bully Turtle a lot about the stupid shit he does. It's because I do a lot of stupid shit, though. Yeah. Oh, he has a hat now and a Tommy gun. That's amazing. I need to learn how to make companions that hold guns. It would be cool. Yeah, it would be really cool. Especially if you could give them a gun. Now, that would be fucking awesome. That's something I've really wanted to do, but not sure how to do. No, that seems overly complicated. Break. That seems overly complicated. A, lot of a whole lot of guns will just break. You'd have to have an insane blacklist, yeah. You'd have to have a really crazy long bl blacklist. Yeah, which just unless you can unless you could just block certain subtypes where you can like only give them guns that are automatic. But then again, I suppose some some classes are a bit funky, so that might not even work. Oh yeah, the the weapon type is the least of my concerns. Although I don't think enemies know how to use charge guns. What the fuck is that? Oh, uh, I forgot I had enabled Guy. that. I, I forgot I'd enabled that thing with the um thingy enemies. I'm going to be really careful, really, really careful, because there's a lot of undodgeable bullets around. I was about to say, did the rave lighting not cue you in? Oh, you f I literally just spoke about that, you fucking moron. Oh my goodness, you idiot. I'm such a fucking dullard. So, so what was that about being careful? I opened my map while moving and didn't consider the fact that those bullets wouldn't just disappear on room clear. I don't know why, I just, I, I just assumed I they would. Actual child logic, if I hide behind the map, the bullets don't exist. It, no, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that, it was more so that I for some reason just assumed that when the room was over, the bullets would disappear. Don't, don't try and make yourself sound clever. You should turn off Manic Theatre. Yeah, I should. <laughs> Is this... Oh, yes! I beat my record! Last episode, I got a four-second run. This episode, a three-second run. Hell yeah. <laughs> that actually... I that make an unlock. I, I, I feel like if they hadn't have enabled the fucking blue goo, uh, that probably would have been a pretty good um, Manic Theatre run. Because that, 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 like, bouncy trick shot item was very good. Yeah, you might have lasted a whole three more rooms. Exactly, exactly. I do want to try and beat the uh, murder at some point. I can't remember if I have before or not. I think... I can't remember. I don't think I have. I don't think you've beaten anything before. I don't remember a time when you beat this game. Nah, never. I'm terrible at it nowadays. Yeah, exactly. Which is why you need to play it more. Yeah, turn off Manic Theatre. What are you doing? It has been done. And turn on rainbow mode just so you can be mad. No. I got a rusty something or other. I got Actually, a double vision. The, the thing. And oh, that was pretty good stuff. Um, I got the rusty ammo box. Guns without ammo are automatically destroyed. Dropping items in the process. Ah. Okay. So when a gun runs out of ammo, it turns into an item. That's pretty cool. So if I get a bad gun, I can just waste the ammo. I also got the shredder, which I believe is a brotato gun. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I watched your brotato series before it fizzled out and died. <sighs> it, it, I really wanted to play it more, and I probably will bring it back when the game gets updated more, which I'm pretty sure it is and uh, slash already has been. But. I kind of started playing at a time where I was really busy, and I very, like, I, I backlogged about, I, th I think, I actually think the entire length of the series, which is like, I think 10 episodes, or maybe 11, I recorded in like two days. I just played it loads, and I didn't have temp time to play it after that. So the, the Shredder that he, um, is a 50% chance that he went on a long, a long monologue about uh, why he's actually not neglecting it, and it was just, he's busy. That's how you should know that he's a deadbeat dad. Yeah, pretty much. That's how you know I'm going he's to be He's a deadbeat one. dad to his, to his YouTube baby. But I have made my New Year's resolution, which is something that I will give up within three days, as is tradition. But My New Year's resolution is to take <laughs> care of the children I don't have. <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to, is to be a little bit better with my YouTube channel, and and actually put a little more effort into it. I, I put a lot of effort into my channel, I, I'm not saying that I don't, but there's been a few things that I have been neglecting recently. Um, 
and I, I really shouldn't. So one of the things is I've basically kind of given up on every series apart from Isaac in, in a sense that like I still play obviously Gungeon, I still play all the games, but they used to be uploaded on a specific... Dude, that was bullshit. <laughs> They used to be exp uh, uploaded on a specific day of the week, and some, like some of them were two times a week. And basically, since Isaac got big, I started doing daily Isaac. That just went out the window completely. Um, especially the schedule, like, got them. I I used to like originally Gungeon started off once a week on Monday, and then it was once a week on Thursday, and then it was Friday, and now it's just whenever. And I feel like. The inconsistency is probably leading to a lot of people like not seeing the uploads or like missing out on them, which is why they're getting less views because they just don't know when it's been uploaded. And some people, while while I'd, I'd rather they subscribe, quite a lot of people probably don't sub because they don't watch Isaac or whatever, and they just check the channel every now and again. Um, and if they don't know what day things come out, it's a lot harder to do that. And then eventually, if you, if you go a week and you don't see an upload, you think, oh, well, he's ended the series or whatever, and you just stop watching. So I just need to get a lot better. And I also think that with Alexa and Hutz coming back to um, modded uh, Gungeon over the like last week, uh, it's a good reason to, for me to start playing it more as well, because there'll probably be a little bit more modding activity over the next few weeks, right? I guarantee... Like, Alexa's probably not going to have any crashes, and we're not going to know what to do about huts. Like, oh, God. What do you mean? I hate crashes. Is well, crashing huts a lot? crashes, right? Does yeah. He? And no one else can tell why. No one I else knows know. why. How often has he been crashing Just since he started playing recently? Uh, but every once in a while, but it's more than you crash. It's more than... I, 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 I haven't... I, like, I gotta say, because when Alexa put out his video... By the way, for anyone that doesn't know, Alexa has started playing Modern Dungeon. I highly recommend you go and check it out. But, um... For, uh... So, I watched this video, and at the start, he actually said, uh... Gungeon's really prone to cr modded Gungeon's really prone to crashing. But I had to correct him in the comments and say, it's actually not. <laughs> like, I feel like... I feel like that could put people off, and I, I, I actually don't think it's that prone to crashing. But like you said, it might be for hooks, is... but like I very yeah, rarely crash. I ve for no I, reason at all. I get a lot of game breaking bugs and like things that break, but my game very, very rarely crashes. Like, I don't know if it's just an evil computer fairy living inside Hutz's computer or something. This is just a helper. Yeah. Is it is it Hutz or Hutz's? What's the what's the? Um... If it's if it ends in an S, then it's just it's just Hutz. I think. Huts, Huts PC. Huts is, yeah. I don't know actually. That's that. Hmm. Because my name ends with an S, and I've I've never said. I've always said this is. My name is Travis. Hi. Well, this is the uh, Alcoholics Anonymous support group. My name is Travis. Hello. Uh, and I've always said Travis's instead of Travis's. Travis. Yeah, that's no, that's Travis. Oh, we got duct tape. I got duct tape for uh, the shredder. Oh, I got hit there. That's bullshit. I completely forgot about the uh, trashing weapons thing, and I ran out of ammo on a really good gun, but I got duct tape for it, which is not great because I have to leave double vision behind. You could just use it. Oh, wait, no, you don't have another gun, do you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the problem. Oh, now I do. Now okay. you do. Now, uh, remember, if you run out of ammo on this gun, Yes. You, uh, yes, yes, yes. Right, wh it. which which one do I duct tape to which? I'd say uh, you want to have the hegemony thingy. That's my base. base. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, just don't run out of ammo. Just don't run out of ammo. It does have a good amount of ammo already, though, so we should be okay. Right, um, we have enough keys to go to Oubliette, so why the heck not? Do, do, do. Where the hell's the room? Oh, it's like, it's like, yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. I see it. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, I, I generally just want to uh, take care of the channel. Mod. What's that? I really need to finish the more. The more oh, map yeah, I forgot you started that. A little yeah. while ago. Yeah, That'd be good. adds like map icons for the fireplace room and stuff. Yeah. Because people get lost. Like me. Um, but yeah, I, I think yeah. I think just in general, I want to start making sure to take care of the channel a bit more and maybe add some variety back into the channel here and there, like try and play a bit more games because at the minute it is kind of an Isaac fest. And honestly, I think Isaac's views are going to get a bit of a boost when I start the new save file. But 
I feel like Isaac has kind of run its course now. Like, I'm not gonna, it's not like I'm gonna stop playing it, but at the same time, I have a feeling the, the views aren't gonna go up much. They're gonna keep going down. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, mate. People have been saying that like every six months. Th that's true. That is true. That it, it is something that's constantly been said. So I, I'll believe it when I see it. I think it'll. I don't think it'll keep decreasing. I think it'll just settle into a, a stable rhythm. Of, yeah. One thing like, I keep forgetting as well, though, is like, like I looked at my views for the past few videos, and I was getting a bit disappointed that they weren't quite hitting 1k because all my videos, the, what I've, all the Isaac ones have been hitting 1k. But then I've got to remember that I'm actually like 1k is actually kind of an absurd amount for the amount of subs that I have. I'm getting like a pretty much 10% yield over 10% yield on subscribers to to views, which is not what most channels get. So I'm kind of like, I'm, I kind of need to just realize that I'm doing better than normal. So if it if it slows down a little bit, I don't have to worry too much. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, 10%, the words yield give me uh, nom flashbacks to listening to Crypto Bros. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just having, having uh, PTSD. God, did you hear about uh, some of the latest crypto news? I ha keep up with none of it, so no. I I hate cryptocurrency and NFTs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, that's why I that's that's why I keep up with it. To so see it fail. Closely, <laughs> because I love watching it fall on its fucking face. Yes. Uh, that's the I gun agree. that randomizes its stats each room. What the hell? Why is there a D-pad in there? What what the fuck? Yeah. Is this retrashes? Why oh, is retrash a D-pad? I know, I get it. I think I know why. Uh so retrash puts his name in square brackets. And his uh. name So I think that it's it's getting <laughs> that's, confused. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I, Cause if I recall correctly, square brackets are used by some stuff to designate special symbols in dialogue. Yeah. So, I can't say for certain, but if I had to guess, it's, uh, it's that's, game that's confused and thinking Retrash is a D-pad. <laughs> uh, how is that the first time I've noticed that? Insult. It's actually a fantastic insult now that I think about it. <laughs> a D-pad. That sounds like, that sounds vitriolic. It does. I asked in my, uh, in my Isaac oh. series um recently what uh what people's favorite like sort of insult that isn't a proper insult was and one of them was my favorite they said that you seem like someone that opens pa a packet of crisps with scissors british is my favorite insult just british holy fuck what is this room calm down so much going on in here i'm trying to waste the ammo on this gun so i can get an item it's also yeah. a decent gun, to be uh, fair. Yeah, it's solid. It just changes a lot. Yeah, but uh, recently I uh, called someone the amusement park ride that people go on when the uh, one they want to go on is under maintenance. So, <laughs> I don't know if that counts, but... That's pretty incredible. I also said that they uh, had the personality of hot, hot asphalt, where it's like kind of sticky. Hmm. Is, is that... What What would... What What was their personality traits that made it seem like that? Oh god, the bullets are so Nothing, tiny they I can't hit wanted... anything. They're so small they I can't just, hit. I just wanted to make them feel bad. It doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> just had to sound bad. That's what this whole thing is about. Insults that don't make sense but still hurt. That's true, that's true. The bullets were so tiny, they literally can't hit enemies. That's so funny. Hello again. Again. God damn. You are the most common bitch. Basic bitch witch. <laughs> She's a basic witch. Basic witch. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how often she shows up. I'm pretty sure Ski's just fucked something in level generation. <laughs> I think Ski's just made it like that so that his, uh, his stuff always shows up in my videos. No, it's it's not intentional. No, I know. I've <laughs> no. spoken to him. I, I understand. I have to. Yeah. 
but uh, he doesn't know what he's done either, so... Because, like, Rusty and Boomhilda and Ironside don't show up that much. Yeah. They show up when they're needed. They keep to themselves. In fact, I don't think you've ever seen Boomhilda's special room. I haven't. And I don't think I've ever been able to purchase something from the Ironhide, dude. Well, I lowered the prices just for you. <laughs> Lower them again. No. Really? You're going to D20 in this room? You're going to fucking D20 in this room, you cock? It's horrible. Roll the bones. Oh my god. I need health. Hello, Tatum. Hey, dog. Tatum just came in and sat on my feet. What a so. cute dog. Yeah, what a heavy dog. <laughs> Is this picking up ammo it... gives it a damage? Yeah. Refilling that's, that's a gun's good. ammo increases its damage by 5% for the rest of the run. That's pretty It's good. not amazing, but you can buff a certain gun by just refilling it. Oh, we got this guy. Which probably means I'm going to die because I don't remember him very well. You're going to take three hits and an oubliette. Really? Off. Really? You swapped my fucking gun for a map for the floor that I've already completed? Thanks, game. Calm down. Calm down. You get mad when I say you can. Okay? Just relax this and boss focus on the boss. Is so hard. No, he's not difficult. You just don't know how to fight him. That attack then where he just kind of had loads of shit coming at me was a little intense. Yeah, but that's because you suck. What's this? It's a little Gusty. fella. I can't believe that it fucking gave me a map. I mean, it's found the secret room for me, but I mean, come on now. It also found the other secret room with the two junk in it. It did. Um, do you only have to give these one gun or two? One gun. Are you sure? It takes one gun. Yes, I am sure. It takes one gun, gives you one curse, and rerolls it. Thank you for giving me a dog shit. Although it gave me a synergy, which is kind of cute. I don't know what that does, but... Neither do I. Is it in this room, or is it in that room? I can't tell. You're asking me like I know. It's this room. There wasn't even two junk in here. There's only one junk. Offense. Do glass cornstones don't have their own map icon, and I need to. I need yeah. To recognize that. Hmm. Whose fault is that? Tartarus. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yours. It's your fault, actually. Because I haven't been playing it's enough to motivate you. It's Tatum's fault. She's leaning against me too hard, and it broke the game. <laughs> She's the one that's been stopping you modding. Yeah, Tatum does this thing. It's like almost cat-like, where she comes up and stands next to you and just leans against you. And I don't know, is that normal? I don't think so, but is it's not a bad off? thing, though. So I think the yeah, synergy no, is giving this two round magazines. It normally has a one round magazine, right? I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. Who uses this gun, though, so? Yeah, exactly. I've never used the grass chopper once. Like, honestly, key. Grass Chopper is probably, like, I'd rate it least memorable gun. Yeah, it's just awful. Like, even this Synergy version of it with the two-round clip, which I think is the Synergy, it's still not good. It just has so little ammo. It needs, like, a hundred base. I guess. Yeah, but Tatum does this thing where she leans against you. Uh... And when she does that, like, I'm standing up, I just smack my mic by accident. <laughs> and it's like, I'm afraid to move because I don't know how much weight she's putting against me. <laughs> and I don't want her to, I don't want her to just fall over. <laughs> Even though it would be very funny. <laughs> the Whistler. Find out what that does soon. 
want to get rid or of this thing first. Right now. Ration. I love the ration. Fucking troll of a game. I have to admit, so far, this is just the grass chopper again. <laughs> what is this? It just does nothing. It <laughs> didn't even shoot. A gun invented by some particularly lazy um, with the desire to Someone. never meet their enemy face on. Got a legendary name due to its unique bullet structure, causing the rounds to seemingly whistle. How does Mix. something seemingly whistle? Oh! Oh! Okay, it's pretty good. Oh, is it just the stream or is it lagging? It's uh, not lagging too much for me. Okay, right, this this this, this gun died. this gun is very good. Basically, just fire it once and it kills everything. I'm so caught up on how does a how does a bullet seemingly whistle? It tries it to whistle, whistles but it can't. or it, it either whistles or it doesn't. Imagine hearing something make a whistling noise, and instead of going "it's whistling," you go it "seems to be whistling," <laughs> but I can't really be sure because. Sounds can be deceiving. Yeah, th this this gun is insane. You fire it one time and it kills everything in the room. Yeah, this is gonna like win you the run. I can't wait for you to like run out of ammo on it I and know. not pay attention <laughs> and have it turn into a fucking meat bun. Get away from the chest so I can kill you. Get away from the chest so I can kill you. Open it. You are invulnerable to damage during the chest opening animation. I always forget that. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Because I'm dumb. Because it's a thorn in my side. Oh, hello, banker. Can't wait for you to die again. What the fuck? <laughs> I realized that I have, um, that I had... The, the double shot, whatever it's called, but that was still very, very fast for him to die. Rimby, don't you have ammo light? I do. Yeah, you're right, so I should be doing this. Good idea, thank you. No, I don't mention it. I'm trying to use all my crap guns to get rid of that ammo so that I can get, um... So that I can get items. Crap items. Yeah, so I can get really bad items. Among us. What? How? It's an Among Us. No, it's not. Look at it. It's an Among, it's an among Us. <laughs> In like the like lightest way possible, maybe. I don't really think so, though. It looks like an Among Us that has been left in the oven too long. <laughs> left on a hot windowsill. <laughs> yeah. Among <laughs> Us left in a hot car. <sighs> Among Us drawn by Picasso. He melt. It's it's Picasso's rendering of the truth of the human soul. To be fair, that is that is another really like decent insult that I quite like. Calling someone a melt. I don't know if that's just a British thing, but What's that mean? I don't know, but it just calling someone a melt sort of basically means like calling them a fucking idiot. I think at least. Oh. I don't actually know for sure. Melt just made me think of uh, tuna melt, oh, which I, I don't know I what it is. Love... You don't know what a tuna melt is? I've never had it. I've never had it. Oh, tu tuna melt like, is it's literally just like a, a cheese toasty with tuna in it. Makes sense. It's uh, fucking incredible. That makes me think of bad cooking videos on YouTube where people destroy tuna melt. <laughs> All of the bad cooking videos you've showed me so far. Oh no. Yeah. He loves it. He loves oh, it. It's fuck's great. Sake. Don't don't listen to what he says. He loves it. Keep getting hit, bollocks. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Perish, boy. Perish. I see it. Perish. By the way, I see it. I realized I should have picked the ammo up after also. Shush. 
Ooh, two bad items. Yeah, I guess plus one key each floor isn't that bad. Yeah, but, but they're mine, so I'm crazy. allowed to... I'm allowed to call them bad. You're not. So shut up. Never. Um, yeah. what's the hell's patience? I think I'll just take explosive birth. Uh, actually, oh, I don't really have any explosions. See, if I'm thinking about this, like, nuclear throne rules, it probably means you get to get an additional choice later. But, like, I don't know. Because... Oh, I literally don't even have a fucking mass around, so it doesn't matter. I thought I did. Whoopsie. It's because I had you an extra heart. heart? No, really. It's because I got um uh, extra heart, but that's from an item, not from a master round. Oopsie daisy. Uh, I'll go buy the a Indeed. Oh, speaking of uh, uh, food, I was eaten by a snail yesterday. You was eaten by a snail? Yes. Considering you're still here, you do realize how wrong that sounds, right? Well, you see, I went outside, right? And it had been raining. And I found a little a little garden snail, a big garden snail, on the porch, but a little big garden snail, you know. No, like yeah, go on. He was he was the absolute chad of the snail world, but he was still <laughs> tiny because it's the snail world. He's a snail. He was he was appropriately <laughs> snail sized, but on the larger end of of snail size. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing? This is a completely serious thing to say. <laughs> This is a I'm regular conversation that everyone has. Oh, I got plus one bullets. Okay, I don't mind that at all. Um, but yeah, I I was just like, oh look, a snail. I haven't seen one a, a snail in, in a while. Oh, the bullet king came out so tiny. When's the last time you saw a snail? The last time I saw a snail, probably a while ago. Don't get running many snails around me. That way. Like, it's like snails. They're everywhere, but you never see them. <laughs> what are they? Th what are they thinking? What are they plotting? Um. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, I don't. I haven't seen a snail in a while. And so I put out my finger, and I wanted him to. Oh, I was hoping he would slime on. Slime on. Um, but instead, he started. He started eating me. Like how? What do you mean? Did you feel your skin start to be digested? <laughs> Well, snails have a radula, you know? A what? And they, they are... This is like the most common snail fact. I can't believe you don't know this. What the fuck's a radula? It's a thing that snails have. It's like a tongue, but it's covered in thousands of tiny teeth. Yeah, I still don't really know what you're talking about. Uh, this gun didn't it's turn a... into an item. Imagine... Imagine a tongue. Are you following me? Uh, yes. I can imagine a tongue. No, That's not like a, 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 a really hard step for me to get through. Yeah, I never know with you. I have to make sure. So, imagine a tongue. And imagine that it's, uh, like a, it's a little snail tongue on an adequately sized snail. Now imagine that the tongue is covered in thousands of tiny snail teeth. Hmm. What do the snail teeth look like? I don't know. They're tiny. You're telling me to imagine it, but you can't describe what it looks like. How am I meant to imagine it? Do you know what teeth look like? But like, imagine something. But, like, like, do you mean like, do you mean like animal teeth or human teeth? Because they are very different. Yes, snails have a full set of human <laughs> teeth that come out of them like a fucking xenomorph second mouth. This is why you need to specify. I'm gonna look it up. Clarification. Okay, I'm looking it up. They are sh sharp and serrated like a spore. Snails sound terrifying if you're any smaller than a snail. Yes, they are. But I didn't realize. Anyways, yeah. So I could feel the radula against my skin. Like, the snail the snail was scraping me with its radula, which meant it was trying to eat me. Somewhat about the way that you said that does not sound right. I'm, I literally explained scientifically what was happening. And that the snail was 
nibbling on my finger. And you're still like, I don't know, bro, it sounds kind of sexual. <laughs> I think that's just you projecting. <laughs> I think that's just you projecting. I think that's me accidentally uh, revealing my snail fetish. I, I knew what you were talking about all along, but I just really want you to describe it to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Show that. Show off that radula. <laughs> um. Oh, I think I threw off a bit in my mouth. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I could feel the radula, and it felt kind of like sandpaper. You know, like how a cat's tongue kind of feels like sandpaper, yeah. but a bit rougher. A bit rougher than that, because it was actual teeth and not just bumpiness. Seems like you only shared a moment with the snail. I let him eat a bit of my skin. <laughs> of course I shared a moment with the snail. Did you, did you keep him? Is he, is he with you now? I put him in the garden. Like, not, not the vegetable garden, but in, like, a, a part of the flower garden. You have a vegetable garden? Yes. A vegetable garden. Because I don't live in just a shithole. Like, the UK. <laughs> vegetable gardens are quite common if you have a, a house. You live in a house. I wish I could have bought a an house. Outside. That, would be, that would be nice. Who said anything about affording it? Just break in. Just, just, just break into some randomer's house and start a vegetable garden. Exactly. <laughs> you just like come in with a wheelbarrow and just dump like a mound of dirt in their living room. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do during that sounds, the zombie apocalypse. That sounds hilarious. Soil is also stolen. I got from meat bun. I told you. Imagine the soil is also stolen from someone else's garden. <laughs> but yeah, like... Obviously the snail didn't get enough to hurt me. And didn't cause any sort of a wound. But he probably scraped off a few skin cells, you know? Got a little bit of a taste. Each yeah, one has a small a chance to spawn a Revcate Bullock in sparing five or lock than a reward. Nice. Like, yeah. I'm, part of me was eaten by a snail, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> any any clever insights to say on that? That it's it's just it's a, it's a strange story, but it it is it is something surely. Oh fuck's sake! Even wasting the ammo on this thing is gonna take forever. Nah. Shoot it. Constantly. No. No. That's actually not that bad if you do this. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna sit here and chat. Yep. Or you play a rhythm game. Exactly. Tell me about your snail. Well, I picked him up and I let him slime on the back of my hand, and he was scared when I first picked him up. But when I took him over to the flower garden and picked him up again to put him on a leaf, he didn't go back into his shell, so I think he realized I wasn't trying to eat him. I think he was he, just he like, he was just like this, this is food that's taking me to more food. Huzzah. Yeah, I think he understood who was the food in this dynamic. <laughs> Lovely. Do you want to hear a, a strange story from my childhood? Go on then. Sir, so, not quite the same, but... In my uh, parents' back garden, they used to have a lot of frogs. I, th I don't know if they had a pond or something. I can't actually remember. But anyways, this is when I was quite you, young. I was like you were tickled three or by four. the frog's radula. And yeah, exactly. So no, uh, apparently um, I uh, I got quite frustrated with one of these frogs for some unknown reason. Um, I'd like picked it up and I think it had, like ran away or something. So um, the the young me decided what I'd do is I got duct tape again. <laughs> What the hell? Um, see, I really like the idea of duct taping this, but it's a charge weapon and this isn't. What about the Wastelander shotgun? Because that, that regenerates Ooh, its own Oh, that's a very good idea, actually. So duct tape this to the... I, I think it will... I think the Wastelanders will only work if it's the base gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if this works, that's a genius idea right there. That is... He's hoping. That's a very good idea. 
Um, but yeah, and so apparently I got a node this frog. So what I did is I scooped it onto a badminton racket and just threw it into the next door neighbor's garden. I just sent this frog flying. I'm pretty sure that's that's out in badminton rules. <laughs> I'm pretty sure too. Like it, in frogminton, you can't hit the frog over the fence. That's that's out. You Straight lose right over the fence. It was yeah. Apparently, I just yeeted that thing as far as I could. Oh, this would have been a perfect weapon to duct tape. Because it has charge up. And a lot of ammo. Oh well. well at least we can experiment. We we'll do experiments. We can do spearmints. spearmints. I want to come over to my place and snort, snort spearmints. <laughs> right, to the next floor. Huzzah. Ah. This run's going well. But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just went on a, off on a complete tangent thinking about being eaten by a snail. And it won't be the last time. Probably not, no. <laughs> I don't know if I can ever say that would happen to me. I've been getting texts from the snail all night and he <laughs> wants to meet up again. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it is interesting to let Obviously, it's a snail. It's harmless, but there is something interesting, like uh, in letting yourself be eaten while you're still alive. Like, not sexually, but uh, I feel like I should clarify: not sexually. I just think it's it's interesting <laughs> in a, a philosophical. To, to be sense. fair, like. Even if it, even if you were talking about sexually, I'd goddamn hope you're still alive. Otherwise, something very, very wrong is happening. Well, I mean, uh, no, yeah, that's a good point, actually. <laughs> um, in the words of a great man, it isn't sexual. Strictly confectional. So, I think that about covers my bases. Please don't sue me. Me and the snail, we are technically friends with benefits, but the benefits are not sexual. <laughs> we are, we are, it's I feel like, benefits. I feel like, I feel like most of your friends are friends with benefits, but the benefits aren't sexual. Like, the benefit of having a friend is that you get to spend time with them, and isn't that just what Bold all friends assertion. are? Bold assertion. <laughs> but okay. So that gun is keeping its ammo. It is. It's pretty dirty. What are you Way waiting out. For? Waiting for the bullets to kill everything for me. There you go. The noise it made. Pretty strange. Right. Where you at, boy? Oh, the AM0. The gun that has the same mechanic as the ammo light. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you telling me that the two things that have the exact same mechanic have no synergy? Because I felt they technically synergize because you get the effect twice. That's true, but I'm still upset. <clears throat> oh, I was a little surprised too, but uh, can't change that now. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. Oh, for fuck's sake. I... There's literally not a single teleporter between me and that last room. Are you kidding? Sorry, the cowboy thoughts won. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the little ammo look. Tiny ammos. Cute. But I was thinking about the, um, the fucking doodly what's it's, uh, the doodly cooking videos -its. that are bad, bad cooking videos. Yes. Like every, every oh other day. Oh my fucking life. What's with these rooms? They're insane. 
Yeah, you're in the hollow. Like, these are way harder than the average hollow room. I don't know, I think you're just being a little bitch. I think you're just being a little bitch baby. Little bitch baby. Maybe, but goddamn. Little baby bitch. So that guy's <laughs> definitely going to be killed by your, uh... Ooh, he's ooh, living ooh. dangerously. They're not, they're not, they're not been ta he's not been targeted yet. Nope, we've Yeah. It's like watching a child play on the train tracks. <laughs> Eventually, there's going to be a splat, but you don't know when. You know it's happening, but you just got to wait for when, yeah. Oh, another bullockkin. Bites the dust. I should start using this yeah, thing yeah. now. I filled it with so much ammo. It's probably quite strong. More. More. Oh. Ammo for the ammo guards. Shells for the shell thrown. Dude, bullockkin, get... You idiot! <laughs> he just stood on top of the fucking black hole. Uh, the term is AoE damage. I don't even actually know if the AoE damage scales off of the damage of the weapon or not. I've been adding all this damage through the ammo light. I have no idea if the black hole damage actually scales. I'm gonna guess it doesn't. I I don't know. It's like you can. It's probably not that difficult to code it to work. I know. I. I, I why am I saying probably? It's not that difficult to code it to work if Bunny's done it that way, but... I don't know. I just don't want to assume that that's the case. Oh, it see, it so... seems like I get way more ammo drops when I'm not using the shotgun, which might be a me an intended mechanic or it might just be my luck. I think you might get more ammo when the shotgun's out of ammo or something. Maybe, yeah. Just a completely get, complete guess. This is a pretty fun weapon, though, that I've created here. I like it. What the hell's this little fella? So, Gondromeda Pain. Not the Gondromeda Straighten. Changes enemy's health. We'll never know. I guess randomizes enemy health or something? I thought this was Pig, but it's Medal of Bravery. No, Medal of... Uh, the Pig is, is blue. Oh, that's pretty cool. Die, you beastie spider. Yeah, this gun's pretty so after good. After this, after we're done, I... I have to show you, um... A video, a 12 minute video called Deluxe Pizza. Deluxe Pizza? No, uh, it's Deluxe Pizza. Hmm. I just sent you a picture of the thumbnail so you can know what to expect. Oh, how the fuck did I get hit that quick? I'm a builder. Yes, you are. This is not a hard boss to flawless, and I've not flawless a single boss so far. I'm very upset. Didn't even give me any ammo, you bitch. I sent you a, a picture of the deluxe pizza thumbnail. Did you? I don't have any messages from you. Oh, there you go. Oh, fuck me. That is terrible. I hate that. <laughs> it looks like a piece of cardboard with three bits of cut-out cheese on it. Oh, it's cute that you think that's cheese. Oh no, what the fuck is it? Is it lard? You'll find out. You'll find out. Um. Oh lord. <laughs> and this is what they class as deluxe, is it? Yeah, it's a deluxe pizza. I wonder what the non-deluxe version of this is. <laughs> Probably just a fucking cow pat. <laughs> What's going on with all the enemies? They've all... Ugh! Okay, I think the changes the enemy's health has scaled their size based on their health, and it's fucking up their shadows. Yeah, outlines are broken. Outlines are weird. I don't, I don't like them. Yeah, so that item, it randomizes the size of the enemy, and the size of the enemy corresponds to how much health it has. I see. 
save up for that. Yep. <laughs> You know, just show it, just torturing you is, is fun. I enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I sure. enjoy it. One of these days we'll have to get you to play a, a horror game. Ah, uh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a hard, that's gonna be a hard sell. I'm really not into horror whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. Well, I mean, deluxe pizza is kinda horror. Yeah, it's, it's like cringe horror, though. It's not quite the same, is it? That's oh, like, that's like it, I think the correct term is body horror. <laughs> or perhaps, perhaps stomach horror. Yeah. But yeah, that, uh, horror that. games and horror films just really are not for me at all. I just, I really don't understand what people enjoy about being scared. It just doesn't appeal to me at all. It's like, well, the alcoholic, uh, not the alcoholic, not an alcoholic, but you are an alcohol <laughs> man. Uh, <laughs> apparently this, this dumb fuck bought like medical Oh my god, yeah. Thinner, y yes, yesterday I, I had like, some I will incredibly this. strong alcohol. Um, we went to this, uh, this like gin bar. Uh, they don't just do gin, but it, 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 it's a gin bar. Anyways. Um, and um, I was looking through the menu for what to get, and I saw a rum, and it was called, like, Pineapple Grenade Overproof. And I didn't know what overproof meant. <laughs> um, and so I was like, oh, can I have a double of those with lemonade? And she was like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, why not? And then she brought it over, and she was like, this is 65% proof. Bear in mind, vodka's 32%. This is 65% proof, and you just got a double. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. And I had four of those. <laughs> I feel like they should tell you that at the bar, and not when you're being served it. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the person that was serving me um, seemed pretty new. But, I will say, it was one of the best rooms I've ever tasted. It was like... Pineapple with like a vanilla aftertaste. It was a very odd combo, but it worked really well. Yeah, because the part of your brain that was able to register you were dying <laughs> died. So the, the funny thing is, so we, uh, it was we were there because uh, we were meeting up with one of my girlfriends or friends from university, um, and I was there with her and one of our other friends that knew him, um, and. Me and him, me and this guy that we were meeting, we ate quite a lot for lunch, and then we also had Cinnabon afterwards, so we were pretty full. Uh, so we didn't really get that drunk, even considering how strong the booze was. Like, we definitely, definitely got drunk, but not like crazy. But my girlfriend and our, our other friend, they got destroyed. They were wrecked. <laughs> yeah, you had to take her home in a fucking body bag. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to McDonald's to, like, end off the night, and I basically had to look after them both. Yeah, that much alcohol, you lose like twenty years of development. You go back yeah. to being a child. Katie was trying to uh, trying to like jump on my back, and then also while we were waiting in line for our food, and then also there was like an outline of cones stopping people from getting to like another side of a barrier, and she just kept knocking them over. She's a delinquent. Pretty much. What the fuck's going on here? I have to see what's up the other side. Oh, nothing, great. Barney, you can't do trap rooms that have multiple entrances at each end. If you want to force the player to go through the trap room, there's gotta be limited entrance exit possibility, bunny. 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 Bunny, bunny. bunny joke. You give a well, mushroom or pet? You're beyond stable. Parasitic You're fungus. Beyond You're beyond savable or stable. Saving. Uh. I thought you said, I, I so thought you said I'm just, beyond stable. This is just blood oath from Isaac. Yeah. Seems good. It's incredible. It seems useful for me right now because I think I've got very low health. Blood oath. The best. It's why are you saving great. a key? What do you mean why am I saving a key? Well, you uh, have a key and you didn't open the chest. Because it's a brown chest. I don't give a shit about that. 
Yeah, but you're not going to need the key for anything else. Shush now. Oh, I haven't forgot I make sense. Uh, what was I talking about? Um... Oh yeah, so earlier I was like, I mentioned crypto news and I didn't say anything. Yeah. Have you seen the comedic masterwork that is uh, former U.S. President yes. Donald J. Trump yes, announcing his NFT collection? Yes, I have. I didn't actually believe that was real for quite a while. It's just a confused old man who doesn't know what any of the words he's saying means. He just knows that. Basically, it's, it sounds like what's happened is he's hired some hip, like, young marketing guru to, like, make him money. And they've just fucking memed on him, but in a way that they know will actually make money. And I think it's, it's more likely worked. that they've... Uh that he's hired a hip young marketing guru at the age of 35. <laughs> That's true. I feel like most hip young marketing gurus are in their late 30s. That's basically what I meant, to be fair. Like, there is no such thing as a hip young marketing guru, because the thing is, yeah, no one, no one that was self-respecting would ever name themselves that, but people that are in their mid-30s and 40s will. We want somebody who... We want somebody who understands the youth of today, but also has 30 years experience in marketing. I barely understand the youth of today, and I'm only like three years past the youth of today. Four years, four years, five years. Three, I don't know. What, accounts, years, what counts as three years? years? I don't know. Children. Three okay. years past the youth of today. What, uh, where'd all my health go? Oh, the parasitic the thing. The blood, earth, blood, the blood earth. Earth. God damn it. We, we had a thing we, we did, we did. We mentioned it. I'm definitely gonna die here. It was what, good it's knowing just you your, all. It's just, it's just some um, manual. Just so you have three blanks, don't waste them. Okay, we're good. My reward is nothing. Yeah, it's just a room, bro. Just a room, bro. Ah, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Direct hit. Anyhow, that was a very fun run, actually. Um, that, that was that was a pretty interesting one. We've got some really good modded stuff in there. I actually really like that bin item that Sparpy made. I think that's a really, really cool uh, idea. But I just wish it had a little more one-to-one uh, -one in terms of what quality the item is. Actually, no, to be fair, I was just about to say... I'd hope that the quality of the item relates to the quality... The quality of the gun relates to the quality of the item you get. But I think that is actually true. I think the only reason I got the map, because the map is technically a D tier, and the gun I was using yeah. was a D tier. I forget that the map counts as an item. I think that's just yeah. one thing that maybe should be put on the blacklist, because that's a little bit little bit sad. But then again, the, well, the chances of that happening were very low, so it is what it is. Yeah. Either way, good funny. item. I like it. It's funny when it happens, because <laughs> I laugh at you. You did. Anyways, we're going to go and watch this horrible pizza video, but in like yeah. 15 minutes, we're going to record another one of these. So you're getting two, yeah. two never names back to back. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see Yay. you in the next one. Oh, that's my, that's my fantasy.